Let's see now how to import a file within TV Paint or how to open a TV Paint file. To open a TV Paint file, we can go on the file menu and click on Open Import. You can also use the Shift L shortcut or Ctrl O or Command O. You can also click on this icon. So the file is open. You can also open a TV pen file just by dragging the file from your finder or from your browser and drop it into TV Paint. You can open a TV pen file uh, just like this without any other things to do. It can be a TV pen file, so it means a TVPP file or a TVP file for uh, those files made on TV Paint 8 and TV Paint 9. You can also open Mirror files, so Mirror were the file made on Mirage, was the equivalent of TV Paint 7. And also the OR file, R-U-R files. Uh, those files were made by Aura, which was the equivalent of TV Paint 5 and TV Paint 6. You can also open in the same way PSD file. Like this. Now let's see how to import a file like a video sequence or an image sequence. So let's click again on this icon because whatever if you import an image sequence or if you open a TV pen file, the shortcut is exactly the same. The software will detect itself if what you are about to import is a TV pen file or an image sequence. So let's see with an image sequence. Here is my image sequence where I have a bunch of images. So I will click on the head. By the way, you will not hear that the number of uh, this sequence are following. I mean, I have image 001, image 002, image 003, etc. That's important because this is this suit of number that will help me to import a whole sequence. Let's click on load. And so here I have my first number. And if I use here my cursor to move, I will see the different numbers. So here we can see the original size of the project. And here we can see its location. And here we have an option called preload. Preload is really important to understand. Actually, when you check preload, it means the sequence will be imported in your TV paint as a strong element. I mean, like if uh, you have drawn these elements in TV paint. If you don't check preload, this image sequence will be defined as a dependency or as, as a source. If, for example, you change the name of the image sequence or if you change um, its location, when you will import, when you will open the TV pen files, you will have a message, a pop-up message, asking you to locate the dependency, the image sequence. So my little advice, when you are importing just an image sequence, use preload option. For videos, since uh, videos can be very heavy to manage, then I would advise you to not check preload. But it's up to you. It's really my advice. So you have the possibility to define a frame rate and a ratio and field. But as I already explained it in other tutorials, I don't advise you to change the aspect ratio and the field. Regarding the alpha, uh, by default, it's no pre-multiply, so it's um, the good choice if you have this sequence in with transparency. You also have the possibility to use rotation if, for example, the sequence is not in the good orientation. And here we have four different tabs. We have the project tab, the clip, the layer, and the custom brush tabs. So here again, I won't talk about the custom brush since we haven't seen anything about the custom brush. It doesn't make any sense to talk about it. So let's see first about the project. By clicking on project, it means your sequence is about to be imported as a full new project. You have the possibility to check the audio, like this. 
You have the possibility also to check single frame. So it means um, it means it will import just one frame and all the whole sequence. But here it's not that interest me. In clip, we have more choices, the same than in layer. Why? Because when you are importing a footage as a clip or as a layer, it means you are importing something inside a project with a size and, uh, I mean, a definition in uh, width and eighth already defined. So, for example, if your project is in HD and your sequence is much bigger, like here, here it, it's the case, well, you have to adapt the size of your sequence inside your TV pen project. So you can eventually check or uncheck stretch to project size. If you don't check this option, it means that the extra zone will be cropped. You can also correct the aspect. So the aspect means the ratio, but here it's not necessary since I always told you to never change the aspect ratio. Actually, it makes sense uh, for videos and not for image sequences. You can also stretch to project frame rate. Here again, it makes sense only for videos. So here following, uh, for example, if you're importing an image sequence with a different uh, frame rate, then you can or you can check or uncheck time interpolation. I'll already explain what is the time interpolation in the previous tutorial. You can also decide to import the audio and to import or not the single frame. And you have the same choice with layer. Here I will import my sequence as a new project. Oh, and before importing, don't forget here we also have the marking and mark out options. It means you can decide, especially from a video, if your video is something like two minutes long and you just need uh, a bunch of 50 frames on the two minutes, just use the marking and mark out to set the bunch of images you need to import and not the whole sequence. Okay, let's import. And here my sequence have been imported. Few words about imports, especially for videos. I gave some explanation in the previous tutorial about QuickTime for our format. And if it doesn't work pretty well on the export, it doesn't work pretty well as well for the import. I mean, importing QuickTime format in the 64-bit version can be uh, tricky. Some images may be missing. So just like for the export, for in order to import QuickTime file format, I would advise you to use the 34-bit version. So you will import the file in a good way, and then you can save the file, open TV Paint 64-bit version, and then start to work in a cool way. For the people who don't understand why I'm talking about QuickTime, just check the previous tutorial to understand what I mean. Another way to import sequences, especially PSD sequences, is to use something from the new button just here in Import Footage. Because if we check these PSD import, you'll notice that my file were imported like this. So this is my file made on, uh, on, on another software where we can see every layer is uh, respected, but actually I didn't want to have several layers. I just wanted to have one layer with a sequence, one, two, three, four, five. So to have this rendering, to have this result, I will click on new and I will use import footage. And I will use my PSD file again and I will click on load. And here this time, the file is not open directly, but I have the import footage panel and with the same choice. So stretch to project, correct aspect and stuff. So here I will just click on import and here I have my sequence. I will just hide the other ones. And here is my sequence. And well, the last place to import files, especially images, just single images, not sequences yet, this place is the library, just here. To import an image from the library, you just have to go a new image from file. And let's find an image to import. And 
dat hulp. 